ventral midline incision is made from the xiphoid all the way to the pubis through the skin initially then some slight lateral subcutaneous dissection is performed with Metzenbaum scissors initially requires a nick into the subcutaneous layer uh, and then extension of the dissection cranially and accordingly. We can see here the white linear alba. We'll grab that with thumb forceps, tent it up towards you and with the blade facing up make a stab incision right at the level of the th thumb forceps. We'll then slide thumb forceps into the abdominal cavity and then extend the incision through the linear alba with a 15 blade while we were tenting the linear up towards you. Self-retaining retractors are applied and the explorer started. So I like to go from cranial to caudal. We can see the liver here, stomach. We'll then pick up the duodenum on the right and you can sling it towards midline using the meter of the duodenum where we'll expose the right paravertebral gutter and have a look at the associated structures. Here we have the spleen on the left side and its associated mesentery. Then we'll pick up the colon right here, use the mesocolon as a sling pulling it towards midline, exposing the left paravertebral gutter where there's the ovary, the uterus, the kidney and the ureter. And then you can trace the bowel all the way from the duodenum to the colon. And finally, we can identify the bladder, caudal retraction of the bladder, and you can see the uterine body there 